there's not a lot of enthusiasm right now for the Red Sox up in Boston. And that was the one thing you could always count on is the Red Sox are going to sell out Fenway. So what are they doing up there and, and what's their next step? Great question, AJ. And I'm not exactly sure how this is going to play out. Clearly, they've had some injuries. Trevor Story being one. Duval, of course, was red hot in that Detroit series. Then he gets hurt. But last night, they had Yu Chang at second and Bobby Dahlbeck at short. Now, under any circumstances, that is not exactly what you want. Bobby Dahlbeck is a first baseman for the most part. And yes, the injuries contributed to that. They've had to move pieces around. Yoshida was unavailable last night due to a hamstring. But even when whole, this is a patchwork kind of team. This is a team that signed a lot of short-term free agents. Justin Turner, Kenley Jansen, right down the list. Chris Martin was another one. And their core is not what it once was. If you go back to 2013, you guys remember this. They brought in Victor Reno and Johnny Gomes and David Ross. They had a really interesting group of free agents. Mike Napoli was in that group too. And it all clicked, right? Ryan Dempster. Everyone performed at an extremely high level, and they end up winning the World Series. Now, did they win that World Series because of the free agents they brought in? Well, certainly those guys helped, but they were complementary parts. What that team had that this team doesn't have outside of Rafael Devers is a strong core. Pedroia, Ortiz, John Lester, Buckholz was a big part of that then. Even Salta Lamacchia was an integral part of that team. They had Bogarts coming up as a rookie right at the end of the season. They had Mookie and Jackie Bradley Jr. in the wings. This team has kind of a mid-level farm system right now, not an elite by any stretch of the imagination. So I would ask AJ the same question you're asking. Where are you asking? Where are they going with this? And I'm not exactly sure. This is a relatively easy part of the schedule for them. They have the Orioles, the Pirates, the Tigers. Now, obviously, the Rays are not easy, but hey. They've not played that well at all. Oh, before you get, there's no way before you even before Kenny answer this, there's no way the Phillies let Nola walk, right? Hey, they haven't gotten an extension done, AJ. Wow. Now I agree with that, but they're the Phillies. No they got the money. President. They're paying everybody. They have money, but who knows? What if he has a bad year? Do they let him walk at that point? He's been an amazing pitcher for them. He's been great for them. They should not let him walk. I agree with you, but. At least as of right now, no extension was done in spring training, and they tried, and they've tabled it. Now, in the same situation, they signed Real Muto a few years back, if you remember. They let him go to free agency and ultimately wound up with him. Could happen with Nola the same way. You're, in the, you're down in the sidelines. I know how much alcohol you drink during those games. <laughs> so now that some teams have decided to keep selling beer till the eighth inning, I mean, it used to stop for you at the seven, and you, were, you would just be – unable to speak after the seventh now you have all the way till the eighth i can't wait to see what you do in the eighth inning. well aj you'll have to see and wait for yourself to see that but i don't care <laughs> drink at all so we're not going to see much um me like coke zero is a big deal for me but it actually raises an interesting question i don't know if you guys saw the comments from matt strom the original reason for cutting off beer sales early on was what to make sure fans got home safely. Now, all of a sudden, with faster games, teams are saying, hmm, we maybe want to stay open a few more innings to sell more beer. That would seem to run counter to the idea of the original idea of cutting off beer sales, which was fan safety. So it's going to be interesting to hear baseball's explanation for this and the team's explanation for this because it runs counter to what the idea is behind cutting off beer sales, and that's to keep fans from driving home drunk and all of those things. Now, teams might say, and the league might say, well, they can go drink elsewhere. Well, that's fine. They can. But why'd you cut off beer sales initially? We know the answer, and we know the answer to why now teams are allowing them to go later, because there isn't as much time for fans to purchase beer at the concession stands. It's, in my view, a problem right now, and it's a problem that the commissioner, Rob Manfred, initially said it was not going to be a problem because he said concession sales would be approximately the same. If that's the case, then why are teams doing this?